What I care about is don't turn him away. You see, because that means he's found you. You were that lost one. You were that one that he left the 99 of us for to go get you and to bring you home where you belong. Listen to him. Talk to him. See, I know a lot about being lost. And you know a lot about being found too because I wasn't in a church. It was against my religion to go to church, remember? It's God found me sitting in that funeral home that day. And I started that prayer. And about halfway through that prayer that I was saying, repeating after somebody else, I realized that I was a sinner. I realized I couldn't make it alone. I thought I could. I didn't think anybody on this planet was better than I was back then. But I knew in that prayer. I had just said some things that I didn't even know what I was saying. And I got to thinking about them. And I knew God was standing there he was found that lost one. I was the one. I was the one he had been looking for. And there I sat. And there I stood. Praying a prayer that I had no intentions of ever praying in my life. And about halfway through that, he came into my heart. And he changed the person that I was into somebody else. And the amazing thing is, I didn't even plan any of it. I didn't want anything to do with any of it. I had to quit drinking, I had to quit smoking, and I couldn't imagine living if I didn't do these things. But see, don't quit drinking and quit smoking and go to church and try to make everything all right. You can't do that. What you have to do is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And when you do that, the rest will take care of itself. Jesus found you.